It's clear that the re-emergence of COVID in Auckland at the beginning of the formal campaign period has been cause for concern. I should be clear that the Electoral Commission since April has planned for a range of scenarios, including the possibility of an election period where the country is at alert level two and with some areas of the country at alert level three. There is no suggestion at this point that New Zealand will be in these elevated alert levels during the September election. Having weighed up all these factors and taken wide soundings, I have decided on balance to move the election by four weeks to the 17th of October. At the end of last week, I was advised that this date is achievable and presents no greater risk than had we retained the status quo. I've also been advised that in moving to a 17 October election day, the Commission will be able to leverage and draw on much of the work already undertaken to deliver the election. Beginning early voting during school holidays, while having the downside of some people moving around the country, would mean that some additional facilities would become available for the purposes of early voting. Ultimately, the 17th of October, in approximately nine weeks' time, provides sufficient time for parties to plan around the range of circumstances we could be campaigning under, for the Electoral Commission to prepare, and for voters to feel assured of a safe, accessible and credible election. Due to this decision, I am proposing that Parliament reconvene tomorrow. COVID is the world's new normal. Here in New Zealand, we are all working as hard as we can to make sure that our new normal disrupts our lives as little as possible. I know the uncertainty COVID has created is incredibly difficult though, and for everyone, we are all in the same boat. And so I do want to give an assurance that I do not intend to change the election date again. We are all adapting, but adapting also means preparing for all circumstances we may face together. My hope is that this decision allows us to do just that.